This is Steve Ridgell, and I want to spend a little time this morning telling you about my friend, Charles. Now, uh, you remember a few videos ago, if you watch this channel regularly, we talked about Adriana and her new birth, that she came and found Jesus. And, well, uh, Charles and Adriana are, are dating, going together, friends. And so a lot of the studies with Adriana, Charles set in on those. And I'd listen to Charles because I was sitting right by him in a lot of those uh, conversations about Jesus. And I would hear him say things like this. That's right. Yes, Jesus died for us. Yes, he was raised from the dead. Yes, we, we need a savior. Uh, and as, as I listened to him talk and then as we had conversations, uh, my friend Kevin and I talked a lot with Charles. Uh, Charles works out at the ranch with, with another uh, person from Hillcrest named Darren. And Aaron and Charles talked a lot. And as we talked, as you know, everybody that comes to Jesus, sometimes they're looking. In Adriana's case, she was looking for family. Charles was looking for a different life. Charles had lived a life that uh, it ended up with taking him to a lot of dark places. And there were a lot of consequences for some of his life choices. And, and Charles really wanted to change. But he also was realistic enough to know that you know, change is hard. And when you decide to follow Jesus and you give your life to Jesus, there's a lot of your old life that's got to be changed. And Charles was aware as he processed how difficult that was. In fact, he thought about being baptized when Adriana was, but he wanted to really think about it and pray about it and decide for himself that he was willing to turn his back on his old life to chase Jesus. Now, he even had some uh, religious experiences when he was a young boy. I went to church, I think it was with his grandmother, who encouraged him at a very young age to be baptized, but he didn't know, he didn't really remember a lot about it because it wasn't really his decision. And I remember him saying in one of our conversations, uh, with, especially with Kevin and I, he talked about that he knew at some point this had to be his decision. It had to be his faith decision, not somebody else and not because Adriana did, and but because he wanted to follow Jesus, which would lead to a whole different life. Well, he decided he wanted to be born again, and so uh, we picked a date, but uh, Adriana had to work, and he wanted her there, and he was still kind of wrestling with it, so we encouraged him. This is, this is a lifetime decision, so be real sure about it. So he prayed a couple more days and then decided, and so uh, I'm recording this on a Thursday morning very early, and uh, Wednesday night after our journey class, our whole class and most of the other church that was there came in, filled up the auditorium, and watched Charles make his confession and be born again. Now, i got to tell you about Charles's confession because I really liked it. Typically, when we, you know, I know there are different ways to do that. And some, some churches just say, say, repeat after me. Other churches say, do you believe? And then they explain everything, let the person say yes. Um, we've always been a little more on the tell us what you believe about Jesus. And the thing that really struck me about Charles, when I said, what do you believe about Jesus? Uh, he said, well, he died for my sins. And then he paused a minute and he said, well, that's really it. And I thought that is exactly right. That really is the crux of it for everybody. Do you believe in the one that God sent to this earth to die for your sins? And for most people, that's the most important thing there, that my sins, my past life, all can be forgiven and I can have a new life. So I love Charles for that, and I watched his conversations, and there are people around him, and he's helping them, and they're helping him as they learn to live, not the old life, as they learn to live the new life with Jesus. So this is Steve Ridgell saying, Charles, I'm glad you're my brother.